down, or Joey's got something mighty important on his mind. Shall we stand our ground or beat a strategic retreat? We never could outrun that combination. Besides, he's aiming fury right at us now. Oh, boy! Hi, Jim. You know that field right next to the south pasture? Well, sure. I ride by it almost every day. What I mean is, if I asked you for a favor, would you do it? Well, I guess so, providing it's within reason. Well, about that field, it's flat and it's just the right size. If there isn't any place better in the whole valley. Well, I don't know about that. Seems to me we have much better pasture land up in the north quarter. But, Jim, you don't understand. We're not going to use it for grazing. And I figure since you're not using it right now, we could have it for ourselves. That is, if you'll let us use it. Whoa, slow down there. Start from the beginning so I'll know what I'm letting myself in for. We got together at school today, Freddie and me and some other kids, and we're going to have a Little League baseball team. You tried to start a Little League team last year, but you didn't have enough kids big enough to make the team. We have now. We have just enough. You should see how Pee Wee Jenkins has grown. Enough to throw a ball? All the way from first to home. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting a whole year for Pee Wee to grow up, and now that we have enough guys for a team, all we need is a place to practice. And if we're good enough, we'll have playoffs, just like the World Series. Ain't even laid out first base, and you're already hitting home runs. <laughs> well, I never heard of a little hustle and enthusiasm hurting a ball club. And we can have a field, Jim? Sure. Gee, that's great. And will you be our coach, will ya? Oh, wait a minute. There are eight other fellas on that team that might have some ideas about who should be coach. It's all right. I already showed them your scrapbook, the one that has the pictures of you playing baseball in college. Will you, Jim? All right, you win. And if you like, Pete and I will help you build the diamond. Gee, that's great. Can I tell the fellas? Sure. Come on, Fury. <laughs> well, if we're going to start building another Yankee stadium, we better get our ranch business out of the way as soon as possible. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, it looks just great, Jim. Say, I finished the chalk lines. Is it okay if I lay out the bases? Sure, go ahead. Thanks, Jim. It's Mr. Wright and Tom. Hi, Mr. Wright. Hi, Joey. How are you? Hello, Sam. Jim, nice to see you. Tommy, how are you? Fine, how are you? Hey. Tommy. Hi. How do you like to feel? Pretty good. Uh, best ballpark hereabouts. <laughs> She's been pestering me all day to come take a look. I'm glad I did. <laughs> hey, Joy, what's Fury doing out there? His hooves are liable to cut up the field. No, oh, the grass is too thick. Well, come on, I want to take a look at the pitcher's box. Uh, he's going to make a great pitcher, that boy of mine. He seems to have a lot of confidence. We'll be back, would you? Back, Fury. <laughs> Do you mind? Strike one. Look at that form. He's striking them out already. <laughs> Strike two. Strike three. That's making them fat in the air. <laughs> Are you going to manage the team, Jim? Well, I'm going to coach them a little bit, but I think they can learn to manage themselves. Pretty good, eh, Dad? Ah, you're going to be great, kid. Well, I guess it's something I ought to do to help out. Tommy's got his uniform. How about the rest of the kids? Uh, most of them can't afford to buy them. Oh, well, in that case, I'll outfit all of them. You mean with spiked shoes, caps, and everything? The works. Yep, just like the big leaguers. Uh, looks like our little league team's off to a big start, thanks to you, Sam. Oh, nothing's too good for my boy and the team he's going to play on. Gee, real uniforms. Wait till I tell the fellas about that. <laughs> Come on, Tommy, put water over the place. 
fellas. Now everybody's had a chance to play the position he wants as well as the other positions. Now let me see. Freddy, you were pretty good at catching. Is that what you want to play? Yes, sir, coach. All right, now it's up to you fellas. Is Freddy okay for catcher? Sure. sure. All right, now you all know the positions you want to play and the ones you play best. So get together and figure out your lineup and let me know what you decide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How come you letting them choose? Oh, I don't want to influence them, Pete. What do you mean Joey's gonna pitch? That's the position I want to play. Well, you can't pitch as good as Joey can. That's what you say. I hardly had a chance to warm up. Gosh, Tom, don't get sore. Who's getting sore? It's just that you had the easy batters to face. Easy batters. Oh, oh, I reckon you're going to have to straighten that out. Uh-huh. Okay. okay, now, everybody got his position picked? Tom doesn't want to play. I'm a pitcher, and I don't want to play in the outfield. Oh, but you've got to be on. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Hold it now. What seems to be the difficulty? My dad expects me to be pitcher, and that's what I'm going to be. We had a vote, and we want him to play center field. So we felt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, Tom, I'm sure your dad will be just as proud of you if you play center field. It's a mighty important position. You're just saying that because you want Joy to pitch. Well, that's not so, Tom. I want you fellas to have the best team possible. Personally, I think you'd make a terrific center fielder. If my dad was coached instead of you, I'd be pitcher, not Joy. Look, I asked you boys to pick your own lineup because I didn't want to show any favoritism. Kids pick Joy count at your field and your coach. Either I pitch or I won't play. But you gotta play. We only have nine men. Then I pitch. You're not a good pitcher. Even I hit a homer off of you. All right, then. Let's see you have a team without me. Gosh, Jim, what are we going to do now? Well, don't worry. You'll be back. Okay, team, same time tomorrow. But before you go, Pete's got some refreshments fixed up at the ranch house. Oh, boy! Oh, let's go. Go. Gosh, Jim, maybe I ought to play the outfield. Joey, picking a baseball team is a lot like life. A man has to play the position he can fill best. Come on, you're the host of this clan bake. Hi, Sam. Come over to watch the team practice. You know why I'm here. How come you won't let Tom pitch? Well, it's not up to me. The boys felt he'd be better in the outfield. So you're blaming the kids, huh? Look, you're coach. Who plays what position is up to you. Sure, I'm the coach, but I'm letting the boys make their own decisions. Well, my boy has just as much right to pitch as anybody else. That's true, he does, if you want to sacrifice the welfare of the team for an individual. There's only one thing about that team that interests me. My boy. Either he plays the position he wants, or I withdraw my offer to buy the uniforms. That's being unfair, Sam. Why? Because you want Joey to hog the show? Just think it over. No, no, there's nothing to think over. I'm just helping out. The decisions are up to the boys themselves. Well, then tell them about the uniforms. See how they decide. I never know Sam Wright had such an ornery streak. Uh, he hasn't, Pete. Just that he's never learned the real meaning of teamwork. Sad part is that it's his boy who'll suffer for it. Well, just the same. It's a dirty trick holding them uniforms over the kid's head so Tom can have his way. Oh, hold on. Settle down. Everybody settle down. Hold on a minute. Well, what happened to you? Did you stop a high, fast one? Looks more like a left hook to me. Oh, it was that Tommy. It wasn't Joey's fault. Yeah, you should have heard the things Tom said about you. Oh, never mind what Tom said about me. Now, look, fellas, if we're going to fight among ourselves, we might as well forget all about the team. Well, Tommy's taking advantage. He knows without him we only have eight men. Oh, he'll probably be back after he cools down. Meantime, you fellas go ahead and practice. I'll bet Tom never cools down. Well, he might. Well, let's keep on practicing anyway. Oh, what's the use? We're just as bad off as last year. We're not as too little to play. Oh, I guess Pee Wee's right. We'll never have a team. I thought I was going to umpire. <laughs> How come they want me to play now? <laughs> well, it was Joey's idea. 
You and I are going to be the practice batters. Joey, you'll pitch and it'll give the other kids a chance to tune up on their fielding. Don't tell me Tom's decided to play center field. No, no, he's still holding out. Ah, uh, well, who's he got to play center field? <laughs> you just wait and see. <laughs> You bat first. <laughs> eh, beats me. <laughs> oh, this is silly. <laughs> That's what I thought when Joey told me about it this morning. You know what he said? So, Jim, I know Fury's just a horse, but he'll help out. You wait and see. But all I gotta do is to hit the center field, and it'll break up the game. <laughs> well, Pete, we're just helping the boys to practice. I'm still hoping that Tom will come back. All right, play ball! Come on, Joey, pitch another play! Come on, pitch it! You didn't think I was going to argue over a measly base hit with that express train. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time, don't hit the center field, Pete. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look who's coming. Hi, Sam. I figured you'd be here playing a big shot with these kids. Well, my helping the kids out doesn't exactly make me a big shot. What about this? That boy of yours practically tore this off my son's back. Pete, why don't you take the kids up to the house for some refreshments? Okay, come on, kid. Come on. Well, what about it? <laughs> yeah, I heard there was a little misunderstanding, Sam. Well, that happens sometimes among the best of friends. But this was deliberate. Joey jumped Tom and tore his uniform because he didn't have one. Sam, it was a couple of kids. Let's be fair about it. Oh, you and your talk of fair play. Look at the way you've been treating my boy. Nobody's been mistreating your boy. He got exactly what he asked for. Well, nobody's going to push him around. You're being unreasonable, Sam. Well, just forget you ever knew me and steer clear of me from now on, huh? Hey, thought you and Fury were going for a ride. We did, but we came back. A mighty short trip. We went to some of the fellas' house. They said they weren't coming to any more practices. Did you tell them I arranged for the team to play on the Little League schedule? Oh, it isn't any use, Jim. We can't play with only eight men. And even though Fury can't play the field, they won't let him play in a little league. <laughs> you got a good point there. Now, let me see, isn't there anyone else in your school who can play? No, just girls. Puggy Malone! Puggy Malone? You know, the girl with the pushed-in face and the freckles. The one whose father won the weightlifting contest at the fair. Oh, yeah. You want to see her hit a baseball in the field? Joey, no girls in the little league either. Maybe we ought to let Tom pitch. We might win a couple games. Joey, do you really think the purpose of Little League Baseball is to win games? We don't want to lose. The important thing is that you learn the meaning of teamwork, the, the give and take of getting along with the other fella. Oh, and if we let him take without giving, it wouldn't really be a team, would it, Jim? You're growing up, Joey. Come on, Fury, we've got to get the fellas together for a meeting. Well, that's about it, fellas. Either we're a team or we're not. It's up to you. Uh, what's the use? If we give him the time, he'll just want to run things. Who knows? Maybe next week he'll want to be catcher. Well, without him, we'll have to cancel our games. Maybe if we spoke to Tommy once more, he'll change his mind and play center field. But what if he still wants to be pitcher? He plays center field or not at all. Right, fellas? Right. right. <laughs> you know what that means. How about you, Pee-wee? I sure like to play baseball. But a fella has to know he's got a chance and he's doing his best. So does everybody else on the team. Just what Jim said. Okay, we'll talk to him. I don't think we should all go. And you can get there faster on Fury. And he can't carry us all. Uh, okay. Good luck, Joey. Yeah, yeah. good luck. Come on, Tommy, hurry up. 
Tommy, are you sure you're the best pitcher? I told you, Dad. It's all at Jim Newton's fault. He doesn't want anybody to pitch but Joey. Well, let's get these uniforms back then before I get stuck with them. Give me a hand, son. We gotta change that tire. That's good, Dad. Uh, all right. Get back now. if we hadn't worked together. It's lucky you came along. Well, it wasn't exactly luck. 
the fellas, they wanted me to kind of talk to you about changing your mind. Change my mind? I always wanted to be on the team. I know, but you see the job of pitcher. Oh, who cares about that? I guess I made a lot of trouble, but I sure would like to be on the team. Well, there's only one position open. Well, if you and the fellas don't mind having a, a fathead that doesn't even have the sense of a horse when it comes to teamwork, I sure would like to play. Wish I'd said that, son. You and I just learned a good lesson. <laughs> what do you say? If you can use a good center fielder, how about voting me in? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he even got furious, folks. <laughs> All right, now get together. Everybody's smiling now. Come on, you're going out to play a champs now. Come on. Come on, folks. Oh. Yeah, we want you in a picture, folks. Hold it, Dad. The whole team isn't in the picture. We gotta have our mascot in it. Come on, Fury. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now squeeze together. Come on, now smiling, smiling. Yeah, that's it. Okay, fellas, pile in, we go. In you go. Right. Hey, wait for me! Don't forget your water 